this video, we will be seeing about the Tableau integration with Salesforce. There are two methods by which Tableau can be embedded in Salesforce. First, we will be seeing the easy and no code method. We will be going to set up. Since this is related to UI, will be searching for user interface and then tabs this is embedding of web application inside Salesforce so inside web tabs will be clicking new this is mostly used to down see the tab view dashboard in Salesforce so that the Users don't have to leave the Salesforce environment to see the tab view dashboard. We'll be selecting the full width. You can also select the two column depending on your choice. Next. Give any name. I'm selecting size as 1200. And then I'm giving next. Okay, this is the select tab size style. I'm selecting the first one as it can be anything. I'll also give the description. Here I'll be integrating the public tab view in Salesforce. So next okay here it will be asking for the url so open any public tab view just google tab public tab view and then select whatever interests you the most that you want your other users in the salesforce to see inside the salesforce application These are dynamic dashboards. In all tab view, there will be a button for link sharing. Just control copy over there. Let's preview it. Yeah. Okay. It looks good. So we click next. We want it to be visible for to all tabs, to all the profiles. So next. on all apps as well to so save it has been made now we'll go over here and then refresh this page there's this new tab called tab view that we just created we'll click over here The page just took too long to load and here it is so this will get di dynamically updated whenever the public tab view over here gets updated now let's see how to create a tab view using the salesforce data now to filter tab view dashboard using salesforce data we'll be creating a new account in tab view online So we'll go in here, products, tab view online, and then click start a free trial. Just like developer org of Salesforce, we can also create a developer tab view online account for free. And click on over here, 
and then get a free trial of your Tabio online. So after creating your own free online account of Tabio online, you can create any dashboard. I have created a dashboard. over here I'll edit and I'll show you how I created this so these are the stages closed one the color representation is over here and I have selected it by month you can go in by year or quarter or week or day depending so I have given the x-axis and y-axis over here the amount in rows and this x-axis goes in the columns so after I did this now we'll be going to the setup in Salesforce So visual for pages is the web page used for used by Salesforce to show us the tab view information. We go in visual for pages. I just created this page called tab view, which I'll be showing it to you. I created a page, visual post page with name, label and description. So as you can see, this is an Apex. So uh, in Salesforce, visual force is uh, just a framework and Apex is a custom code that we type in. So we have created this standard controller as account because we'll be having it and uh, we'll be applying a filter in the account object show header false sidebar false and then this is the link of our tab view that we had so we'll be going in here and then taking this link but and then pasting it over here but only until the question mark we will not be taking the whole link so only until here we will be taking the link and then we will be pasting it over here and then it's an iframe you will get this link anywhere from online or if you know apex coding you can code it by yourself so once you do this, you can just click on save. I have also clicked in uh, the vi this Visual Force page to be enabled even in the mobile platform. So this make sure you click this on. And then once we have done this, we have to go see how to see it in our account home page. Or record detail page so we go in here edit page we want our tab view to be another tab in this box so we'll just click over here so it opens all tabs we click tabs we do not want it to be details so we want it to be a custom made we give And then done now what do we want to add in here it's visual force page we drag and drop since we only have tab you as a visual force page that we created we do not have anything more it just comes in here height as 600 I'm setting it in you can give whatever you want and then I click save you can see a preview over here so
so after I save I'll go and see how it looks so our tab view will will have a chart or the dashboard depending on this account <coughs> so it shows us how how much have it has account amount in February March and May so if we go to another account it has sales only in the month of January and it shows how much it has closed one analysis and value proposition so depending so whenever this graph changes the graph over there changes dynamically I can show you that we click edit so the same happens in public and the dashboard that we create using the Salesforce data and I give it's according to month when I give according to week or day let me give according to day and let's see okay there's too much data let me give according to quarter okay week yeah this sounds good so I save this the workbook is saved we go in here we refresh okay this has only one data so it will be difficult for us to see the difference so we have taken another account yeah you can see according to the week yeah, so that's it about tabu with salesforce integration